Hello, and welcome to another installment of Crad COVID Readings. This time around, I've got something that's relatively short and sweet and vaguely appropriate. Um, back in 2003, I think it was, uh, I was invited to send a story to an anthology that was being put together by uh, two editors, one of whom was the late Jay Lake. Uh, the anthology was called 44 Clowns. 11 Stories of the Four Clowns of the Apocalypse. I then wrote a story to go with that theme uh, called Behold a White Tricycle. Unfortunately, 44 Clowns never actually got published. The problem was, the story I wrote, as you will see shortly, really only worked in an anthology about the Four Clowns of the Apocalypse or in my personal short story collection, like say this. Um... In 2015, uh, I put together a short story collection called Without a License, which is now available from eSpec Books, the eBook of eSpec, uh, the eSpec Books eBook, eh, say that 10 times fast, is currently available uh, as I record this for 99 cents. eSpec Books is having a very big sale uh, because of the whole coronavirus thing. Um, all their eBooks are 99 cents, so for just a buck you can get this collection, which includes this story that I'm about to read. Uh, which is, as I said, called Behold, a White Tricycle, uh, which I finally printed in this uh, collection because, as I said, it really didn't work anywhere else. Um, I was very... Uh, Jay Lake passed away in, I think, early 2015. Um, in any case, uh, before he died, uh, he did see that I was including this story in there, and he was very grateful that, that I had finally found a home for it. So, Behold, a White Tricycle, a story of the four clowns of the apocalypse. And I saw when the ringmaster opened one of the tent flaps, and I heard, as it were, the noise of thunder, one of the four clowns saying, Hiya, hiya, hiya! And I saw, and behold, a white tricycle, and he that sat in it had a tootie horn, and a red nose was given unto him, and he went forth laughing and to induce laughter. And when he had opened the second tent flap, I heard the second clown say, Voody! And there went out another tricycle that was red, and power was given to him that sat thereon to give candy to the children, and that they should hit one another over the head with rubber mallets. And there was given unto him a seltzer bottle. And when he had opened the third tent flap, I heard the third clown say, Ha-cha-cha-cha-cha! And I beheld, and lo, a black tricycle, and he that sat on it had a pair of rubber balls in his hand. And I heard the voice in the midst of the four clowns say, A pie in the face for a penny, and three pies in the face for a half dollar, and then get sprayed with this big bottle of seltzer! And when he had opened the fourth tent flap, I heard the voice of the fourth clown say, What do you say? What do you say? What do you say? And I looked, and behold, a pale tricycle. And his name that sat on him was Bozo. And tigers followed with him. And power was given unto them over the fourth part of the circus grounds to tickle with feathers and with hunger for cotton candy and with kids dying laughing while watching the beasts of the earth tramp about. And when he had opened the fifth tent flap, I saw under the big top the souls of them that died laughing and for the testimony which they held. And they cried with a loud voice, saying, How long, O Lord, holy and true, dost thou not let these clowns hurry up and stop acting like idiots so we can see the cool stuff like the trapeze artists? And grease paint was given unto every one of them. And it was said unto them that they should rest yet for a little season until their acrobats also and their jugglers, that should be as silly as they were, should be fulfilled. And I beheld when he had opened the sixth tent flap, and lo, there was a great earthquake, and the tent became black as sackcloth of hair as the lights went out, and the tent then became as blood as the red lights went up. And the stars of the circus fell unto the earth, even as a fig tree casteth her untimely figs when she is shaken of a mighty wind. And the circus departed as a scroll when it is rolled together, and every tent and stand were moved out of their places. And the ringmaster, and the great jugglers, and the rich backers, and the chief owners, and the mighty weightlifters, and every roustabout and every clown, hid themselves in the dens and in the rocks of the mountains. 
and said to the mountains and rocks, Fall on us and hide us from the face of them that want us to perform six shows a day, and from the wrath of the bosses that write our checks. For the great day of the circus is come, and who shall be able to juggle? That is Behold a White Tricycle, a story of the four clowns of the apocalypse, available in Without a License, The Fantastic Worlds of Keith R. A. DeCandido, available from eSpec Books. The ebook is only 99 cents, so for a buck you can get that story and a whole lot of others that are, well, longer. Um, thank you very much. Please subscribe to the YouTube channel. Please uh, check me out online. If you go to decandido.net, you can find links to all the different places where I am online. Facebook, blog, Twitter, Instagram, Tor.com, Hither, Yon, whatever. Um, also go to my Patreon. Uh, which you can also get from my website, uh, or go, just go directly there, patreon.com slash crad, and support me in this woeful time. Thank you very much. See you soon.